What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Super Mario 3D World. In the last part we finished World Castle. In this part we're on World Bowser because Bowser recaptured the Sprixies. So uh, yeah, ba World Bowser 1 Spiky Spike Bridge. We are also going to need a cat suit for this. So um, this isn't really too hard of a stage. We just avoid the spikes. We just go on these platforms and we avoid the spikes. Like, there's a cat suit right there, and I get a cat suit, but then, uh, I lose the boomerang suit. <laughs> so this is the last world of the normal game. This is, um, one I actually kind of like a lot with the, um, a music amusement park setting. Like, this game, like, um, I think this, this is, like, around Gala- I think around, like, um... 3D Land also has kind of a similar plot twist. We have to go through a whole uh, separate Bowser world. Anyway, so um, we got the uh, we already got the uh, first uh, star, so that's solid. Our plot. Oh shit. Well, we lost the cat suit. <laughs> we lost the cat suit, so, um. I think we should be able to get another cat suit. We're gonna need another cat suit. And this right here is where we get the stamp. Alright, thank god we're not. Um, wait till they go out of the way. Alright, there's the other cat suit, so, um. We'll climb up the wall and get this. Anyway, so we get the switch. Oh yeah. Now I'm not sure, I don't remember if we need the cat suit for the rest of the level. Okay, we don't, so um. I get the uh we have everything in the level so we just can't get hit cuz the cuz the worst thing is if we don't top the flagpole. And I know I've said that enough in this playthrough. All right. All right. Let's go. Yeah, so we got we got Bowser two and uh, Bowser three and a slot game. You know what? Our luck went in our way the last episode, so let's just uh. Or time was our way. Sorry, so cherry. Oh yeah. We got eight one-ups, the max you can get in these areas. Anyway, so that'll be a Bowser 3. So World Bowser 2, plus he's doomed downhill. So we're gonna stick to Mario for this. Uh, we're gonna stick to a lot of Mario for a lot of these stages. This is the third time we're using plus E. Now, if my memory serves correctly, this one's kind of a little bit of a pain to get all the, uh, stars in. Like that one right there. Kind of need time to jump correctly. When I miss the, uh, speed boost, we get a one-up. Alright, that's, uh, star number two. And if we, uh, follow this middle part, right, that is, uh, right here, we get the stamp. 
And the third one's kind of tricky to get. Um, the third one is a little tricky to get. You have to kind of go in this Bowser right here. It also slows you down. Otherwise, the uh, stamp doesn't, the star doesn't show up. Hmm, that wasn't too bad. Alright, so we just have to time the slide correctly. Oh yeah! Just like Mario saying. Anyway, so that is a, that is a, I want to say this is a, we're about, after we get through three, we're probably halfway done with this world. And, um, so, um, seven has three, cookie, what's the, uh, cookie cog works. I would also suggest, I would also suggest maybe keep a cat suit with you, because you're going to know, you're going to see this later. And keep, get the boomerang suit, but also keep the cat suit. Oh yeah. Now I want to say the uh, first... Yeah, it's right here. Oh yeah, fuck you, you're dead. <laughs> Anyway, so, um, I'm trying to remember the, uh, second part. There's a lot, there's gonna be a lot of prompt plans this level, so it's good to have the boomerang suit and have the cat suit as a backup. We don't need to kill these two prompt plants. Now, just kill these guys. Because we do need to go down there. Yeah, to get the stamp. Anyway, so one game I've been playing through, even though I played through it last year, I've been doing my, uh, I've been doing a Majora's Mask playthrough on the Switch because, uh, let's just say, um, I haven't really, I haven't really beaten the Switch port yet, but it's, um, I'm doing different tactics than I did in my playthrough. Like, my playthrough is more like a uh, beginner guide to the game, where, like, uh, how I normally play it, I just, I just, I do, I put is much different than how I did it in my playthrough, let's just say. And I just lost the cat suit that was in the inventory. Which, we need that, we're gonna need that to get the third stamp. Okay. I'm gonna try a riskier jump. First, we're gonna long jump. Okay, that works. We're gonna try a riskier jump. We wanna land down there. And it works, so you don't really need the cat suit. The cat suit just makes it easier. And this, this bunny's gonna have the third star. See if we can get a one up. Actually, not quite. It is with 3D land though. We'd get a one up at the right of the flagpole. All right, we gotta position ourselves. Oh yeah. Anyway, so I think we can do one more stage in this uh, part, and this is uh, Bowser Dash Train, the Bowser Express. We're gonna, we're gonna stick with Mario. 
Mario's the best choice for World Bowser. We get the uh, stamp. All right, we get the star. Okay, we're good. All right, one up. Yes. We don't see the Fire Flower too much in this game, I would say. I would say this is the same we see it, but we don't really see it too often. I don't want to think... Please do not tell me we missed something. Because I'm going to have to just go the route where I die on purpose if I missed a... Alright, we didn't miss anything. So, when you're in this area, make sure to, uh... Make sure to go up here. Not... Think I'll need the power-up. Alright. Go down here for the final stamp. Do we fight a boss here? I think we do. And we do fight a boss. We do fight, uh... I think it's Boom I forget her name off the top of my head. Oh, yeah. Now we gotta just top the flagpole. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, so there are a few more stages left in uh, World Bowser. I think it's a good time to cut it off in this part of Super Mario 3D World. So, um, next time Super Mario 3D World, we're going to do the rest of World Bowser. See you guys then.